vehemently anti-Trump actor and comedian George Lopez had his day at the golf course disrupted last month by police after he got into a confrontation with a heckler at a Hooters who cracked a Donald Trump joke and put a camera in his face. Lopez now faces a court date on charges of misdemeanor battery. Lopez has made sure the world knows how much he dislikes the president, even going so far as to take a moment in July to fake pee on Trump's Hollywood star. One guy at a Hooters in October clearly got the message about Lopez's antipathy for Trump and managed to bait the comedian into getting himself in trouble because of it. The incident, which took place in mid-October, was caught on video obtained by TMZ. George Lopez had a terrible time at Hooters, thanks to one giant boob who goaded him into a fight the outlet reported at the time. The incident went down Sunday night in New Mexico, where George had spent the week filming the movie Walking with Herb. As you can see, the guy was lying in wait for George when he started recording. That's when you hear the guy say, here comes my boy, George, and then all hell breaks loose. You get a glimpse of George grabbing the back of the guy's neck. According to TMZ source, the guy had been annoying Lopez all evening and yelling MAGA. In its follow-up report Friday, TMZ revealed that the encounter has landed Lopez a court date on misdemeanor battery charges. Law enforcement sources tell us George will have to appear in court next month on a misdemeanor battery charge for allegedly roughing up a guy who tried filming him at a Hooters in October. As the comedian was leaving the restaurant, TMZ reports. The police report says officers paid Lopez a visit at the golf course the next day to get his statement about what went down. Lopez admitted to grabbing the heckler's cell phone and said he believed the guy was deliberately trying to bait him into a confrontation. The officer says he informed George he'd be receiving a court summons for misdemeanor battery and that George was compliant. TMZ reports Lopez certainly isn't the only Hollywood celebrity to openly display his disdain for Trump nor is he the first person to target Trump's Walk of Fame star. In July, a vandal obliterated Trump's star with a pickaxe and proudly told the world about his real good act. Many celebrities cheered the vandal's illegal actions. A few days later, a wild brawl broke out over the fight after anti-MAGA protesters and pro-MAGA fans converged. In August, the Hollywood City Council unanimously passed a resolution to permanently remove Trump's star. Having a star on the Walk of Fame is a privilege that is highly sought after by those in the entertainment industry, allowing Mr. Trump to continue to have a star in light of his behavior toward women, particularly in the to mess up and to movements, should not be acceptable in the Hollywood and entertainment industry communities read the resolution but the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce disappointed the council a few days later. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is a registered historic landmark, said Laron Gubler, the chamber's president and CEO. Once a star has been added to the walk, it is considered a part of the historic fabric of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Because of this, we have never removed a star from the walk.